In this presentation, we are going to look at the negative binomial distribution. And in fact, what we're really doing is looking at how a lot of these distributions will work together with each other, or how they sort of interact with each other in the overall scheme of things. So, for an automobile insurance company, the distribution of the annual number of claims for a policyholder chosen at random is modeled by a negative binomial distribution, okay, just make a note of that, which is a mixture of a Poisson and a gamma, it's a gamma, po Poisson gamma mixture. The gamma distribution in the mixture has a shape parameter alpha equal to one and a scale parameter theta equal to three. So what is the probability that a randomly selected policyholder has more than two claims in a year? Now, in the first instance, what we're dealing with here is the negative binomial distribution, okay? So what happens when alpha is equal to one, okay? So essentially what happens here is this actually, so this is, uh, we have it in terms of alpha and theta. So we're dealing with the second one here. And when alpha is equal to one, this actually reduces to a type two geometric distribution where the type two models the number of failures before the first success okay so i just call it the geometric distribution from now on but just a remark that there is actually actually multiple there's two uh variants of the geometric distribution and this is one of them okay and um, just to sort of uh see how this will play out essentially it's actually how alpha affects the binomial coefficient so we have alpha plus k minus 1. So essentially that's that cancels out with that. So we just change k, choose k. So that from k, choose k, is that just the whole thing just reduces to 1. Okay. So we're just disregard that completely because if, k, if alpha is equal to 1, that is always going to be 1. So that's the end of it. So um, p the geometric parameter p is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus theta to the power of 1. Okay, so that's it. Now, so when the, when the parameter alpha is equal to 1, so the shape parameter, the negative binomial distribution has a geometric distribution with a parameter p, where p is equal to theta divided by 1 plus theta. So that is the formula there. That's the probability mass function. Again, just to be clear, the support is 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's the number of failures before the first success. And that's the how we specify the geometric distribution accordingly. Okay. So essentially, this is all we have to do. Really work with that to get our answer. So since the gamma shape parameter is 1, the unconditional number of claims in a year is geometric distribution with parameter 1 over 4. P equals 1 over 4. And the following is the desired probability. So this is the fundamental formula we're working with. So essentially, 1 over 4 times 3 to the power of 4 to the power of k. So what we have to do is calculate that for x equals 0, x equals 1, x equals 2. So we essentially what we do is put in the appropriate values of k in each case, and we get 1 quarter for probability of x equal to 0, 3 over 16 for the probability of x equal to 1, and 9 over 64 for the probability of x equal to 2. So the probability of x less than or equal to 2 is the summation of those three probabilities. Here, 1 quarter is written as 16 over 64, 3 over 16 is 12 over 64, 9 over 64 being the probability of x equal to 2, and working that out we get the probability of x less than or equal to 2 is 37 over 64 but what we're asked for is the probability of x greater than 2 which is the probability of x greater than or equal to 3 which is the complement of what we have above which is 27 over 64 in other words 42.18 percent 0.4218 so that's it so the key thing there was really just uh, st uh, being clear about the relationship between the negative binomial distribution and the geometric distribution and how to react when alpha is equal to one, that whole thing just goes to one. Okay.